Hello everyone, I'm Josh Rubenstein, the Public Information Director for the Los Angeles Police Department. This critical incident community briefing is intended to provide you with information about an officer-involved shooting that occurred in the Van Nuys community of Los Angeles on July 6, 2018. You're about to see relevant video footage and photographs, hear audio recordings and radio transmission, and learn of other evidence and police procedures so you can have a better understanding of what occurred based on what we know at this time. The LAPD conducts very thorough use of force investigations, which typically require investigators to interview multiple witnesses, view numerous hours of video footage, and analyze a significant amount of forensic evidence. We are at the very early stages of this investigation, which can often take up to a year to complete, and our understanding of the incident may change as additional evidence is collected, analyzed, and reviewed. We also don't draw any conclusion about whether the officers acted consistent with our policies and the law until all the facts are known and the investigation is complete. A word of caution. The images and information you're about to see may be disturbing. When a police officer uses force to arrest a suspect or defend against an attack, it can be graphic and difficult to watch. In addition, there may be strong language used by those shown in the video. Viewer discretion is advised, especially for young children and sensitive viewers. Hello, I'm Commander Alan Hamilton of the Force Investigation Division of the Los Angeles Police Department. I'm going to give you a brief overview of an incident that occurred within the LAPD's Van Nuys area. On July 6, 2018, at around 7 p.m., LAPD received a 911 call from a mother regarding her son, Tyler Honeycutt, who was under the influence of drugs and throwing items at neighbors. She told the 911 dispatcher that Honeycutt had been huffing nitrous oxide and not eaten or slept in several days. Huffing is a method of breathing in fumes to get high. She also told the 911 dispatcher that her son had firearms in their home located near Tyrone Avenue and Riverside Drive. Here is the 911 call and corresponding broadcast to patrol officers by the LAPD dispatcher. 911 emergency operator 262. Yeah, um, listen, um, I need a, I need somebody quickly. The police and the ambulance, whatever. My son's having a psychotic break. He has guns in the house, so I'm really worried. Really worried. He thinks I'm conspiring against him. He knocked the phone out of my hand last time I called 911. And okay, 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 hold on now, hold on. So this is your son, you said? It's my son. Okay, what's his name? Tyler Honeycutt. Tyler Honeycutt? Yes. All right, ma'am. And uh, is he black, white, Hispanic, or Asian? He's biracial, black and white. Okay. And how old is he? 27. 27. Thin, medium, or heavy build, ma'am? He's medium build. Medium build. Six okay. eight. Six eight. Medium build. Six foot eight. Okay. Yeah. What color clothing is he wearing? I'm sorry. What color clothing is he wearing? A pair of basketball shorts. I don't even remember what color they are. Okay, that's fine. That's for that. So no shirt. No. All right. What does he suffer from? What mental illness? He doesn't have one. That's the whole problem. I don't know what's going on. Okay. He's, he's hallucinating. I already called mental health hospital and he said if he becomes aggressive, which he just did, um, to call 911 and tell them that he has guns in the house. Okay. Do you think, is, is he under the influence of drugs or alcohol? He may have smoked a joint right now, earlier. Is this the house or an apartment? It's the house. Oh. It's the house. All right, Lisa, are you a black, white, or Hispanic Christian? I'm white. white. Okay. What color clothing are you wearing? That way the officers can see you. Uh, navy blue flowered. Okay, uh, sleeveless top with blue jean capris on. You need to hurry because I'm afraid I'm going to pull a gun out on himself. Okay, are there any weapons in the house? <laughs> yes, I'm telling you, a shotgun and a pistol, a 10 millimeter pistol. Oh. Please hurry. I'm so All right, worried. so we will uh, send the police out to you. Yeah, I need an ambulance, too. Okay, let me go to let's get the paramedics, okay? Hold on. Mighty worn cameras are used by all officers assigned to field duties. They're worn at chest level and give you a general perspective of what was within the camera's field of view. LAPD patrol officers assigned to Van Nuys Division responded. You will now see body camera footage from the responding officers. Okay. He's got the gun out now. He's holding it in his hand, sitting on the bed, but we have a guard dog too, and the guard, he's hanging onto the collar of the guard dog next to him on the bed, and okay. I don't want the dog to be hurt. Where is, where exactly is it's the house? where the white fence is. Where the white fence is, right yes. here in the corner? Yes, right here. Anybody else fence. in the house? No, just him and the How dog. How many weapons are there total he in the house? He has a shotgun, but he told me it has no shells, so he has the pistol in his hand, and he said it has three bullets in it. Okay. Anybody else in the house? No. No one else is in the house? No. Okay. 
Noah what's his Tyler. first name? Tyler. Tyler. What was? He's what a is good he upset? Kid. What is he upset about? To be honest with you, he's a professional basketball player that just came back from overseas, and he was sucking laughing gas for six months overseas, and I think it scrambled his brains. Okay. All right. He's not sleeping. He's not eating. Okay. Please. All right. They attempted to communicate with him both on the telephone and with voice commands from the outside. I just need to talk to you. Right here. Can you open the door so I can talk to you? I just want to make sure you're okay. outside. Um, I've been waving at you, trying to talk to you. All right. Right now, you're not in trouble. All right. We just want to, you haven't committed a crime as of yet. Okay. I'm trying to get you out of here as peacefully as possible. Is there any way you could help me out with that? Like I said, you're not in trouble right now, dude. Here, I'll wave my hand. This is what, no. Okay. All right. This is who I am, okay? If you just put your hand, your your gun down, and come out, dude. There's camera crews out here. We got cameras. You are safe. We just want to make. We just want to go home to our mamas too. You know what I mean? So you are not in trouble. Um, I'm just trying to resolve this as peacefully as possible. But you're making a lot of people nervous. Kept walking around there with that gun. Okay. I could I could tell my guys to keep the guns down. Just. You know, let us see you lay down that weapon from the window. Just lay it down, and my officers will put put the guns down, their rifles down. Tell them not to point it at us. Hello. He can see you on Hello? the Hello. Yes, sir. Honeycutt then appeared at his window and pointed a gun at the officers. You will see Honeycutt fire at the officers through his window. The bullet struck a wall immediately next to the officer. The officer then returned fire. Gun! Where? Fuck! Did he point it at you? Yes. <laughs> Shots fired! Shots fired! Shots fired! Hold it, hold Shots it. Shots fired, I'll turn these off. Shots fired. Did he point it at you? Yes. Here's the video from another officer. Gun. Where? Fuck. Did he point it at you? Yes. Shots fired! Shots fired! Shots fired! Hold it, hold Shots it. fired! Officer needs help. Shots fired!
the Los Angeles Fire Department examined Honeycutt, and he was pronounced deceased from what appeared to be a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Officers recovered the gun that Honeycutt used and the expended casings. The gun was a 10 millimeter Glock. Tyler Honeycutt was 27 years old at the time of the incident. He had no prior criminal record, history of mental illness, or gang affiliation. In the next several months, the LAPD will continue to investigate and analyze this incident as witnesses come forward and forensic tests are completed. After the investigation is completed, the Civilian Board of Police Commissioners will evaluate the evidence to determine whether the officer's tactics and use of force met the high standards expected of all LAPD officers. If you'd like more information on how the LAPD and the LA District Attorney's Office investigates all officer-involved shootings and other serious uses of force, visit lapdonline.org, where you can also find LAPD's use of force policies and procedures. Thanks for taking the time to view this critical incident community briefing.